Alright guys, I got another uh, review video for you. This time it's on a DeWalt 20 volt max lithium ion quarter inch impact. Uh, model number DCF885C2. I've had this for probably about two weeks and uh, I'm really impressed because before I bought it I went looking at reviews online and this model drill um, had five stars on every major site from Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Amazon, all five stars. People were really impressed with the power of this drill. Um, a couple of quick specs is from front to rear, you're looking at 5.5 inches. Um, the weight of the drill is 2.8 pounds. And I have to tell you, the drill is really nicely balanced. Um, you're not getting any top heavy where it's wanting to lean forward, and the battery's not really heavy where it's pulling the drill down. So basically, wherever you put your hand, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go with that. It's not going to try to fight you with the weight. So... Uh, it also features a three LED light on a 20 second delay so you press the trigger and the lights will stay on after you release the trigger for an extra 20 seconds and they are bright and the way they're patterned they cut down on shadowing so if you're working in say an attic or a floor joist um, it also has a nice feature that I actually used when I was putting up fe fence posts because uh, it was kind of muddy that day and um, right here you can see the uh, it has a belt hook and it is switchable to put it on the right side if you're left handed so that was nice and the drill stays in place I could really picture climbing up a ladder with it hooked on your belt and walking on a roof and it not going anywhere um, the torque specs are 117 foot pounds 1400 inch pounds I think I may have said that in the beginning I'm not sure but um, obviously with all DeWalt tools you're gonna get a three year warranty so that's nice. They, they give you a peace of mind when you buy, you're buying a tool for this price. Um, and another nice feature is, I'll bring it in camera and show you. Oh, uh, you get two 20 volt max lithium ion batteries. You can see here. I don't want that focus. There we go. Um, they also make a 3.0. This is the 1.5. You get two of these. Now, um, I want to let people know this is a marketing scheme that they've kind of moved into and other manufacturers have done it. Uh, Cobalt does it, Black & Decker or Stanley I believe, yeah Black & Decker. Um, the 20 volt max is no different than an 18 volt battery. So if you had a Bosch or a Milwaukee Impact with an 18 volt battery and you tested them with a voltmeter, they would both read in the same reading and I think all of them read when they're fully charged like 20.4. So that's why they say um, instead of like how the 18 volts say 18 volts, this says 20 volt max. So this is really an 18 volt. But uh, they do make it in a 3.0 um, to give you a longer run time. And uh, the nice thing I was going to say was about this charger, when you plug your battery in, and I'll bring it in camera here, you can see the battery's uh, plugged in. Uh, nice size charging station. But... Um, this is a 30 minute charge and here's your little diagram to show you um, how it reads if I can get the camera to focus there we go so you can see right now it's charging and in uh, probably less than 30 minutes because this battery was half charged so probably 15 it'll be fully charged and you can see the troubleshoot errors over there um, sorry guys I gotta adjust the camera but um one thing I wish they had uh, I think it was a video I saw on Mac, on a Mac Impact, which is powered by DeWalt. Um, I think the internals are made by DeWalt and Mac put their name on it. But they had a USB port on like the side of the charging pack to charge your tablet or cell phone, whatever USB charging device you wanted to use. Because I'm in my basement in my workroom, and uh, sometimes I use my phone to listen to music. Instead of using another outlet, I wish I could just charge it in the pack. But that's no big deal. <clears throat> Um, it also features on the drill, back to the drill, uh, a one-handed bit, bit change. So you have your release right here. Um, no more holding down the chuck like on a regular drill and having to tighten it. All you do is, I really like this, you just pop it in and you can hear it locks in. Now that's in there. It's not going to go anywhere. And then when you want to release it, you can do it with one hand. You just pull it out and then you have your... You put your new bit in. Um, so I really like that. What else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, 
Oh, I saw one complaint on one of the reviews, and I actually thought about this. Uh, there's no spot on the drill to put a bit, but I did see an a, a attachment piece where you would where your other hook is for the belt loop um, for your for your belt hook right here where you can uh, switch it to the other side. You can buy um, a bit holder and screw it in there by DeWalt. I think it was like eight dollars online, but then you're really I, I kind of wouldn't like that because even with the belt with the belt hook on it, um, when you take the battery off, like this has no pack on it. The drill's going to fall over because it's not on a level surface, so that's why I thought about taking the belt hook off. But if you leave it with a battery on it, it's going to be fine and not fall over. And uh, another negative, real quick, was um, I wish, since this model has been out since 2011, um, I don't know if they're trying to phase it out or phase out these type of batteries, but I think on um, their, their serious line of impacts, uh, they have a battery reader in the back here. Um, so you press the button and it's three lights and it'll tell you how much charge you have left. I wish that was on here, but that's no biggie. I mean, for the price I paid for it, I paid $150 uh, at Lowe's. It was on sale for $180, but they, they price matched Amazon. Um, so that was nice. But Amazon is the cheapest to get one of these. Um, they seem to have the best prices. And I think that pretty much uh, sums it up. I also picked up... Um, this new bit case right here, if you can see that. Um, so this was nice, $25 at Lowe's. And you get a, an array of bits, as you can see there. Let's go adjust the camera. Uh, I really like these two and a half inch bits, which are like this. Um, no more using uh, this, but you can use this like a normal drill bit adapter for a normal drill, uh, because they do just lock in the gun. So uh, let me show you the light feature real quick. I'll turn off the lights up here. And this one. Okay, so now we're completely dark. So that's a pretty bright light, um, I think. If you can see there. I mean, if you were in an attic or a floor joist. So, turn the lights back on. There we go. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, one other complaint that I had an issue with was the uh, the case right here, the DeWalt case. It's really a uh, sorry guys. The, the plastic's really like thin. Um, you can see how I'm just like pushing into it. It's not a hard, rigid case. So I would imagine if you are a contractor or someone who's going to keep this in their truck. Um, I would, I would really picture this case breaking probably in the first week because it's not, it's not going to withstand if it fell off a shelf or something and, uh, if that happened. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, comment down below if I left anything out, let me know because I, I feel like I did, but I don't, I don't think I did. But, uh, check out my other videos and subscribe. I will have a video up of me using this, like a montage video of like drilling lag bolts, trying to take off rusty bolts in a car, uh, just to see where the power level is with it. So, uh, yeah, see you guys. Thanks for watching.